so we are in BIOS now as you can see so from here we have to set our boot options and you have to select your hard drive with which you boot into Mac OS X you have to disable your fast boot and then here you have to use the initial output as PCIe one slot because you're using a graphic card and if you're not using a graphic card then you have to use the IGFX and you don't use the ES RAID onboard controller is enabled you can use anything from here LEDC RGB because this is nothing related to Hackintosh and in Intel platform trust you have to disable this software guard is software control USB DAC up to you can use anything in these settings it's on your I have a Thunderbolt configuration but leave that away right now because Thunderbolt on Hackintosh motherboard does not work then offboard SATA controller configuration can be set but allow that trusted computing is enabled and network stacks are disabled and Intel BIOS guard technology is also disabled you go in NVMe configuration I'm having a Samsung 512 USB you have to use legacy USB support enabled XHCI enabled USB mass storage enabled port N64 emulations enabled in SATA configuration you have to use AHCI SATA controllers enabled aggressive low power management enabled then we go to chipset you have to use VTD virtual virtual threading or whatever this is enabled you have to use internal graphics enabled and here in DVMP pre-allocated you can use 128 MB that one is most stable among these but I was testing and I found out that 128 MB 256 MB and 512 MB just work perfectly so I just wanted to stay in metal so I selected 256 in DVMT total graphics memory I select max audio control is enabled everything here is enabled platform power management I just don't want to use that so I put it disabled you can use that but I just found out that I feel that it is kind of breaking or crashing Hackintosh sometimes I use RC6 render standby and it enables or it helps uh, Mac to sleep properly that's the setting I use and that's all with the settings and then you can also save the settings with best or whatever name you want to say and then you can restart so let's restart our system so right now you can note the time it will take from the boot up to 